What's up guys? Today we have the brand new MateBook 13 from Huawei here to check out. First reveal at CES in January, now it's on my desk. Starting out with the design, it's got a full metal chassis and a space gray color. With a thickness of only 1.5 centimeters and a weight of only 1.3 kilograms, the MateBook 13 falls right into the ultra portable category. Design-wise, it has a strong resemblance to the MateBook X Pro from 2018. That also means that it's quite similar to Apple's MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. A big difference though is the 3 by 2 screen ratio, which you can also find on the Microsoft Surface laptop. The bezels are extremely thin, only 4.4 millimeters. And as you can see, the screen takes up most of the space with a screen to body ratio of 88%. Also, there's a little one megapixel webcam hidden in the top bezel. 3 by 2 aspect ratio feels great for productivity and browsing, but it also means that video, which is normally formatted for widescreen, will show with black bars in the top and bottom. It has an edge-to-edge -edge keyboard, the keys are well-sized, good movement, overall a good typing experience. It has a nice and large touchpad and also here the responsiveness is good. Flipping it around we find down-facing stereo Dolby Atmos speakers. Looking at the inputs, we have a 3.5mm audio jack and two USB-C ports. One of them works with the charger. That's it. One thing we're missing that I would like to see is an SD card reader, which is kind of a drag if you want to edit photos or videos on the go. There's no USB-A port, but there's an adapter in the package. Huawei calls it the MateDoc 2 and it covers USB-A, HDMI and VGA for connecting external displays and other devices. It's equipped with a 13-inch IPS touchscreen with 2K resolution and a pixel density of 200 ppi. Now that's pretty good for a laptop. The colors pop, the contrast is good, and with 300 nits of brightness you'll do fine working outside on a cloudy day. Under the hood, we find an NVIDIA MX150 card, which makes video and photo editing run pretty smooth for such a slim device. Way better than integrated graphics and good enough to run most games. We'll have more benchmarks and test results, including FPS per game, on our website. This one is also equipped with Intel's 8th generation i7 processor, but you can also get it in a more wallet-friendly i5 version. When it comes to battery life, we had UL benchmarks perform a battery test. The main principles of the test is to first completely drain the battery, then charge it back up to 100% before performing the battery test with video playback until the laptop shuts down. You can read more about how these tests are performed in the link up here somewhere. Anyhow, the MateBook 13 came out with 5 hours and 18 minutes, which is okay, not totally awesome, but luckily, we have the supercharger, which kind of makes up for that. If you need juice more quickly, 15 minutes of supercharging will provide two and a half hours of battery time. Another good thing about this is that it's USB-C, which runs on most Android phones right now, so you can charge your phone with the same charger. A feature that I really love is the one-touch power button. There's a built-in fingerprint reader in the power button, which makes logging in super fast and safe. The MateBook 13 comes with a clean Windows 10 installed. No bloatware or stupid third-party apps you'll never use. Much appreciated. Overall, I think it looks and feels like a premium product. What do you think about it? Please leave a comment and hit the like button if you enjoyed watching. 